so guys any issue any doubts till now are we clear guys so your work is tomorrow your work is install outlook in your laptop try to send emails using outlook try to create an appointment try to create a meeting invites okay this is your work install teams in your laptop try to share the screen try to stop the screen sharing try to okay a mute unmute okay these are very small small things very easy okay so you can easily check it like normal apps kind of thing you can easily see okay so your work is guys first day itself install an outlook in your laptop install an outlook try to send an emails to your friends or to your gmail id you can send an email email send all try to create signatures in the outlook okay try to save the signatures try to create appointment especially this is very important try to create appointment try to create a teams meeting okay and uh, install teams in your laptop try to share your screen whole screen okay try to share your whole screen so these are the assignments for tomorrow it's mandatory guys okay it's mandatory it's just uh, i'm asking you to install setups that's it okay that's fine and guys now coming to the hardware part okay so guys uh, i have 4 gb ram sir what i have to do how to practice let me tell you the setup guys so to practice our complete setup ours is complete real time setup guys to practice the whole all the topics all the topics in the sql server what we are going to discuss you should have at least 8 gb to 12 gb ram you should have at least 8 gb to 12 gb ram okay it's very good if you have 12 gb ram it's okay you can manage with at least 8 gb also sir i have 4 gb ram only sir is it mandatory that if you want real time it is mandatory if you want to go with real time setup it is mandatory okay sir without uh, this 8 to 4 gb i want to practice you can practice directly install sql server in your local laptop which is not real time not real time you can practice okay you can directly install sql server in the in, in your laptop you can just have a hands on experience on sql server you don't have hands on experience on real time setup sir what i have to do 4 gb is there buy extra 4 more gb it will be cost you around 1500 something new new one is 1500 if you know any hardware shops you will get it for 1000 rupees only or if there is a chance buy extra 8 gb you can insert the ram very easily guys very easily you can insert the ram either some laptops you have to open the keyboard or for some laptops you have to open the back door of your laptop back back side okay so extra 8 gb i would prefer go for 8 gb it will cost you around 2500 something like that new one old one around 15 gb okay 50 sorry 1500 1500 rupees so rams are long life guys you can buy old rams also not an issue i bought an old lap were i'm sorry i bought a old ram worth 1000 rupees it's around 8 gb i used it for 10 years guys it's an old ram bought it for 1000 rupees and used it for 10 years so rams will have long life okay so you can happily buy old rams if you have financial constraints and all okay so or i don't want headache sir i want to go for new ram sir it will be like 3000 or 3500 or 3000 so some rams will be so transcend is an excellent ram transcend okay and what else guys a data a data is excellent ram this is also good guys transcend a data and uh, one more ram is there guys very good ram okay that is also excellent ram that's okay you can google it and you can you can find it out e gate e gate yes e gate e gate is also an excellent ram these are the different different rams you can buy it okay from either amazon or your flipkart and all and installing ram and before buying the ram make sure guys in ram there are different types of ram ddr3 ddr4 so make sure if you are using old laptop that is your ddr3 ram you have to buy if you are using a new laptop ddr4 and uh, let me tell you let me show you this whether i can see ddr3 or ddr4 go to task manager 
go to performance bar go to ram okay somewhere you can see under ram you can see how many slots are there see here number of slots and again it is very important guys before buying the ram check these two things one is number of slots okay number of slots if you have only one slot it's waste guys number of slots and ddr3 or ddr4 these these two things you have to check okay somewhere it will be there guys uh, this is your uh, memory right and 512 catched okay committed 13.62133 megahertz slots to off to use sodium ram somewhere it will be there guys okay check ddr3 or ddr4 and uh, new laptops 99.99 percentage it's ddr4 only for old laptops i i just installed one application ram info or cpu info i guess cpu info yeah cpu z this, this is one application guys i just installed cpu z application you can install it from your uh, google here you can see how many slots are there what is the capacity max capacity of each slot go to memory tab there you can see okay type of ram is ddr ram size is 12 gb jewel size and currently this is the one okay so this is how i found it it's a it's a very simple application cpu z cpu z it's very simple immediately you can install guys okay you have to consider these things before buying the rams how many slots are there what is the max capacity of each slot sometimes the max capacity is 4 gb only but you bought 8 gb you cannot insert right it's waste and of course rams you cannot return i guess check it sometimes i might if you buy it on your uh, google i mean sorry i'm so sorry amazon or flipkart you can return it but check the number of slots check uh, ddr3 or ddr4 and check max capacity of ram also okay i will tell you guys uh, you can go for google it guys okay uh, you can you can go to google and you can search easily in the google that uh, uh, check ram capacity windows 10 okay check your ram capacity there is a command guys command prompt command will be there okay this is macbook huh? this is memory that's okay 16 gb 2400 available 6.2 gb yeah again task manager okay windows 7 users ram 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 okay that's fine mm, this is for mac macbook okay there will be a command guys memory 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 command okay so ram size speed type everything you can find it using this uh, command okay so what is the command 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 yes wmic memory chip get device locator manufacturer okay you can see so these are the device locator serial numbers you will get the number of slots and serial numbers capacity okay this is the one wimc memory chip get device locator capacity guys okay capacity you can see here 8 gb 4 gb like this you can see capacity 8 means 8 gb 4 means 4 gb big number is there right so that means 8 gb this is 4 gb so like this you have to find out the capacity guys if you want i'll i'll, I'll just post this link in the chart please check it guys mm, done okay so this is one thing you have to consider before buying the rams any questions guys about ram and all any questions so if that if there are no questions okay we'll stop the session for today on monday i'll show you how to next we have already installed right oracle virtual box one thing i want to address guys what is yes correct okay on monday i'll tell you so guys if you want to work with oracle virtual box software or vmware software or any virtual machine softwares okay virtualization setting will be there in the bios boot level 
by our setting virtualization settings will be there this setting should be enabled guys virtualization setting should be enabled this is bios settings bios settings means uh, when you restart the laptop then you can go to bios settings o os level settings i cannot show you why because i have to restart my laptop and i cannot share the screen when i restart i have to go to os level settings right there we cannot share the screen so no one can show you but in the youtube you can find some videos how to enable virtualization okay in the google also enable virtualization windows 10 depends upon your laptop guys someone might be using lenovo someone someone are using hp dell so like that different people are using different different uh, okay laptops right so restart the laptop once you restart the laptop you have to either press f9 f10 f2 to go to the bios settings once you go to the bios settings you can see this kind of windows guys configuration tab see here intel virtual technology by default it will be disabled under configuration tab you can see this settings guys i'll tell you next uh, uh, in the next class i'll tell you okay not everyone has to do it i'll tell you who has to enable it okay so like this it will be guys sometimes in the advanced tab it will be like this intel virtual virtualization technology it will be disabled you have to enable it guys cursor won't work in the bios settings you have to use up arrow down arrow okay so like this sometimes we can see under security tab you can see okay sometimes you can see under security tab sometimes you can see under configuration tab sometimes you can see under advanced tab so like this different different uh, laptops okay different different laptops sometimes you can see system configuration tab okay disabled you have to hit enter you will get enabled and disabled click enabled and you have to save it guys f10 will be the option like that you have to save it i'll help you to enable that settings if you feel any trouble i am going to help you to fix that guys okay nothing to worry One minute. One minute. Right. Okay. So in case if you have any issues in enabling that setting, I'll help you. You have to do video call to me. Then you have to restart your laptop. Then you can. I'll help you to enable that feature. Okay. So not an issue. Any questions, guys? As of now, I can start Windows Server in, uh, installation, but it will take lot of time. I have to explain some things, right? so that's why i will discuss that point on uh, we'll discuss the topic on monday monday exactly 7 am we'll start the session we'll resume the sessions guys any questions let me know otherwise that's it for today no questions guys is it clear my voice any issue with my audio guys Oh, it's clear right uh, such a might be you have some internet issue that's why my voice is not clear to you guys uh, are we fine are we good guys so monday okay monday will meet i'll 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 uh, as per the discussions uh, that we discussed yesterday okay about the payment and all once it is done by sunday evening you will get the new meeting link okay those who has completed you will get the new meeting links by sunday evening guys okay so again please don't disconnect okay please connect with me and we'll connect on sunday morning 7 am guys ist okay that's it guys thank you so much we'll meet on monday bye